At the edge of Texas, where sand meets sea and the wind never seems to stop moving, a silver giant rose from the ground, and the ground pushed back. Boca Chica was once a quiet place. Sea turtles buried their eggs beneath moonlit dunes. Shorebirds traced the surf at dawn. Then came the engines, not launches yet, tests. Rumbles that shook windows miles away, fire that scorched the air. And a question that would ignite a battle far louder than any rocket. How much of the Earth should we risk to leave it? SpaceX called it progress. A bold step toward Mars, reusable rockets, humanity becoming multiplanetary. To engineers, Starship was a marvel. Steel skin, towering height, raw power held together by equations and ambition. Every test was a heartbeat of the future. But to conservationists, each test left scars. Concrete shattered into dust, debris scattered across protected wetlands, birds fled, turtle nesting grounds shifted. What looked like innovation from afar felt like invasion up close. And so the lawsuits began. Courtrooms replaced launch pads as the next battleground. Environmental groups demanded deeper reviews, stricter limits, accountability. Regulators walked a tightrope, weighing national innovation against local ecosystems. Each delay felt catastrophic to one side and essential to the other. Then came the explosions. Tests failed, towers burned, shock waves rippled across the beach. Footage spread online in slow motion, fire blooming against blue sky. Supporters cheered the data gained. Critics pointed to debris fields and fragile habitats. The same images told two completely different stories. Behind the headlines were people. Engineers working through the night convinced they were building a lifeline for humanity. Residents watching their hometown change forever. Scientists counting nests, measuring impacts, trying to give nature a voice in a conversation dominated by thrust and timelines. The tension tightened. Could a company move fast without breaking something irreplaceable? Could conservation adapt to a future that demanded speed? In the end, no single verdict settled the dispute. Environmental reviews expanded. Launch approvals came with conditions. Tests resumed, carefully, imperfectly. The rocket still roared. The turtle still returned. And standing on that wind-beaten shore, one truth became impossible to ignore. Progress is never silent, and preservation is never passive. The future isn't forged by choosing one over the other, but by enduring the friction between them. Because every giant leap leaves a footprint, and the challenge of our age is deciding which footprints we're willing to live with on Earth and beyond it. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and brings more stories like this to life.